guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Castlevania Lament of Innocence Part 8. In the last episode, we defeated Medusa, the boss of the Garden Forgotten by Time. And in this episode, we are going to be moving on to the second to last stage, otherwise known as... Well, we'll see when it gets there. <laughs> so yeah, I finally figured out a decent camera angle. And this actually looks really, really good. I like it. Dark Palace of Waterfalls. Probably one of my favorite stages, mainly because of uh, <clears throat> the atmosphere and the music. This is like one of my favorite tracks in this game. It's a really good track. But, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about myself in this Let's Play so far. I'm like really, really anticipating, uh, my future Let's Plays. I just don't know what it is. I'm feeling <clears throat> really cheerful for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's this camera angle. Maybe it's just because I've actually gotten progress on these Let's Plays. I don't know, but I'm just feeling really uppity. <clears throat> I don't even know if I went the right way. <laughs> did I? Oh, hey, I did. All right, so I did go the right way. I had to make sure. All right. So, oh yeah, no. Actually, you know what's better? Uh, good news. I can actually record longer videos this time. Oh no, I forgot to do something. I'll worry about it by the end of this video. I've totally forgot to do something before I started doing this. And I hope it doesn't come back to bite me, because if it does, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, essentially what I forgot to do, what I, what I do every time I upload a video, is that I take the original video and I delete it. That way I can free up some space on my uh, storage, so that I can keep recording. I forgot to delete the video, and I hope that this doesn't interfere with uh, the Let's Play currently. I hope it doesn't, but we should be fine. I think I could do half this stage and then save before my freaking storage decides to screw around. If I didn't have to worry about the storage problem, I could probably do more than just half, but um, yeah, I think I could do half the stage. Man, what is with these Rosarios? I'm getting some really good... Uh, Really good RNG on that with the Rosarios. Man, we're just skull archers and mermen. Oh, yeah. Finally using the uh, Thunder Whip here. This is pretty much like a known consensus at this point. Uh, when you obtain a new whip in each area, you pretty much can't use it in that stage because most of the enemies in that stage have resistance against the whip that you obtain. Which means that, like, I got this whip in the Garden Forgotten by Time, well, half the enemies in that stage are resistant to thunder attacks. So, it's very much redundant to use the whip in there. Because a lot of enemies are made of stone, or whatever like that, and they're resistant to thunder. And that's honestly very annoying. Uh, but yeah. Where am I at right now? Oh, I shouldn't be here. I need to go back. But yeah, um, before I did this, I was drawing, and I'm an artist. At some point, I'm going to leave a, a link in the description to my uh, DeviantArt channel. But uh, I'm quite the artist, and I drew a picture of Leon Belmont uh, holding his whip. But it, it's pretty cool, but uh, I've been drawing a bunch lately. In fact, my whole wall pretty much consists of... Uh, Castlevania drawings that I did. What do we have here? I need something. Axe. There we go. What does this do? Oh, an axe tornado. That's cool. So yeah, in this stage, you there are at least three levers, and uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily screw this up, but uh, there's three levers, and this is the first one you need to hit, and it says the mechanism was moving somewhere near the bridge. Um... If you are doing this the first time and you went the other way, uh, you're going to have bad luck. Well, anybody is going to have bad luck if, um, if you're just playing this for the first time and, uh, you have no idea where you're going, you're going to be backtracking a lot. Like, I mean, you're going to be backtracking all the time because you got to deal with the leverage, you have to deal with the doorways, you have to deal with a bunch of different stuff in this stage. But once you get used to it, this stage becomes very easy, like, very easy. So, it's not a problem. But like I said, if you're just playing this for the first time, oh man, this stage can get very annoying. 
We got lizard men, which are new. We got lizard men. And a save point. Um, yeah, whatever. Actually, no, I'm not doing that. I want to save. I don't want to save yet because not until the 15 minute mark. If I can, if I can find a save point at the 15 minute mark, then yeah, then I'll stop because then I know for a fact that that's a decent sized episode, and then we can move on to the next one. <laughs> Five minutes is not going to do it. If my thing runs out, then you're not going to see this, and I have to try it over again, but whatever. That's pretty much how it works. Uh, if you don't see this video, then that just tells you that my storage was messing around with me. But if you are seeing this video, then that means my phone decided to cooperate. So, hey, there's always that. Oh, Masagos. You know, I really wish these enemies would make an appearance in more, uh... Castlevania games. It's definitely a cool idea. Having ghosts fly around with axes for arms. That's cool. I like that idea. There's a bunch of enemies in Castlevania that get reused or scrapped a lot. You know, all of them are pretty good ideas. It's just a shame that they don't make returns. Alright, so here's a room, for example. Uh, yeah. If you didn't press that lever, uh, chances are you wouldn't be able to go down here. Because this stuff would be blocked off. Well, I don't know if it's true. It's been a while, but I don't know if this part necessarily gets blocked off. I think one of the doors gets blocked off somewhere. But you have to press those levers. You have to press those levers. If you don't, you're screwed. You're not going to be able to get to the boss. Just, just get to the levers. <laughs> just, just do it. You're going to have to. Don't chance it. Don't skip anything. You're just going to have to do it. You're, you have to. Okay. Now, this room... Is this the one I want to... Nope. Okay. <clears throat> one of these axe rooms... One of these gauntlets right here have a little ceiling thing you could jump on, and it has a raccoon charm, which I think we'll be able to get pretty soon. But it increases. Oh wow, wow, that was that was really good. <laughs> that was a really good drop. Damn. And I didn't even have a raccoon charm equipped. Speaking of which, uh, yeah, raccoon charms pretty much increase your luck and your chance for enemies to drop rare stuff, like money or accessories. So yeah, it's a pretty good item. Especially when you duplicate it with the uh, duplication glitch, which I'll get into pretty soon. I think I did it earlier in the year when I started my Let's Play. Uh, do I want to go here? Yeah, whatever. I'll go here. Might want to use a potion, though. Why didn't I duplicate my potions? Oh, I'm going to regret this so hard. I might have to go... Re yeah, I think I might have to duplicate my items off screen. Oh, I need those potions. That is such a bummer. You know what? No. Uh, uh, this is so hard. I don't know if I should save now or what. <laughs> I'm in one of those tight spots right now. Because right here, this is either a boss room or the lizard room. It's the lizard room. Okay. Okay. I can just grab the HP max over here and it'll be safe. Alright, good. We got health back. Alright, so now we just gotta kill all these lizard men. And then we can get out of here. Okay. We should be fine. We should be fine. I really want to get that assassin's necklace, though. If I can, like, go back and get that. You know, I don't want to waste time. You know what? I think I'll show it off in one of my other videos, but I don't know. I don't really know if I have the motivation to do that. Ooh. Eat it. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much halfway through the stage already. Like I said, this stage is pretty easy and pretty short if you know what you're doing. The only reason why this stage becomes hard or, like, longer is if you don't know what you're doing. And you have to find all the levers and you have to traverse your way through this area. But, yeah, if you know what you're doing, this area is very easy. Or, like, you know, this stage is very easy. Is that a save? Of course not. I have to fight the doppelganger here in a minute. 
But yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, these Let's Plays coming up. I'm looking forward to Chronicles. And you know what? I, I've been thinking. I've been thinking. And I've thought it over. And I said, you know what? Fine. I'll do Symphony of the Night. I'll do it. Because... It's going to be one of my first big Let's Plays. Like, a big Let's Play. Because Symphony of the Night is a big game. And that would be a good start to doing a bigger Let's Play. And just, you know, having fun with it. I've beaten the game multiple times. And really, all I wanted to do was practice it for a little bit before I started doing my Let's Play. But, I, you know what? I thought it over and I was like, you know what? Fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. That'll actually give me time to get my equipment ready so that I can actually start doing my uh, Let's Play for Harmony of Dissonance and the other Game Boy games. That, that'll be the day when things will be good. I dodged you guys. <laughs> I like the way they designed the Fleamen in this game, too. They're like hunchbacks with uh, axes. Okay, we got ice eagles here. Or frost demons, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're demons, not eagles. Okay, we need to stop messing around now, because if we don't, we're screwed. Let me use this. Ooh, that was a nice choice. Sorry, I had to do that, because I felt something on my arm. Uh, yeah, about these gems. <clears throat> if you see these gems, like sapphires, zircons, rubies, or anything like that, they're going to be useful later. Uh, after a while of playing this... I just kind of assumed that they were there for, like, shock, or what, they were just there for the look, or the value of just having it, but there's an item in this game called the, uh, Jewel Crush, and what that does, it allows you to actually use the gems. You can actually use the gems, and they all have different effects, like, uh, one of them allows you to completely recover everything, like hearts, MP, and HP, one of the gems allows you to give overall damage. They're very useful. So getting that uh, accessory is very mandatory. It, it's actually pretty fun to use too. So uh, you know what? I think we'll end it off right here because we're already halfway through the stage. I think we can complete the stage and beat the boss within the next episode. So yeah. Uh, See you guys in the next episode. This is Belmont Slayer 23, signing off. Later.